Hey there, I'm Georgia. And part of my job as an online personality is unfortunately taking copious amounts of photos of myself. <laughs> I said that like it's a task, but who am I kidding? I love it. <laughs> it's just every now and then the bossy ego monster, you know, comes knocking at the door and I open it. Just tell him to use the bloody doorbell because that's what it's there for. We live in this world of social media where you crave validation from likes and comments. And it's honestly just quite sad is what my therapist told me the other day in a session. Some people are addicted to drugs, but I'm addicted to the dopamine hit of this emoji. When it's commented by a woman, if it's commented by a man, it's it's just not the same. Like, you're a bit of a creep, you know? Like, go away. Like, go give your wife some attention, Darren. I'm sure she doesn't know that you're here. But after years of taking photos for my work and my mum's Facebook, I've noticed different people go about this in different ways. I've also noticed there's reoccurring patterns or unspoken rituals with some of these things. Like girls, for instance, can't have a night out and do an Insta story of the table without everyone reacting as if they've just been shot in the neck with a blow dart. Like, like what is this shit? And why do we do it whenever a camera is pointed in our direction? I mean, a guy taking a single Instagram story probably makes up for 20% of their whole camera roll. <laughs> I swear guys, just never take photos or videos of anything. Is anyone going to tell them that this is extremely frustrating? If you've ever been on dating apps, you'll know what I mean. They really are going about it in all the wrong ways. These men are on these dating apps trying to get women with a photo of their Toyota Land Cruiser covered in mud, a fission photo because there's nothing more that turns women on than a semi-decapitated dead whiting. <laughs> And of course, a shocking rugby photo from back in 2017 when they were still a minor. It's like it's like creating a resume with all the qualifications for a car mechanic and handing it into a Sephora store. Like, what are you doing? I mean, you may get lucky and attract one or two girls that share the same interests, but let's be real. The only type of people you're attracting with those photos is a 52-year-old man with a beer gut and the occasional butch lesbian. So, good luck. <laughs> like, when is it gonna click in their heads that no straight woman actually gives a shit about your muddy you? I just don't understand their thought process while choosing these photos. They're either going to make or break their next hookup. Like, do they seriously just sit there and think, yeah, there's that photo of me passed out in the bathtub at a house party. <laughs> I look like a full on alcoholic. <laughs> Perfect. Oh yeah, and I better add that fish photo too so she knows I don't mind the smell. Like at best, you'd get a nice group photo of him and all of his mates, but the catch is you gotta work out which one he is out of the seven. Spoiler alert, it's it's the ugly one. So wait, it's it's the ugly one. But that being said, I feel like everyone deserves an upgrade every now and then. So I've recently discovered this little baby called the Canon PowerShot Pit. And it's honestly just super cool. If you're lazy or just genuinely find framing videos and photos too hard, you should really try this little guy on for size. It literally follows you as you walk, cook, do gymnastics, makeup, anything. It's kind of like your biggest fan. It always makes sure you're the center of attention. <laughs> I personally like this little guy because it captures unexpected or unplanned moments. And like my normal cameras that are just fixed in one spot, sometimes really funny bloopers or Expected moments that I really wish were in frame just get cut out. But this little guy with its tilting and zooming features always makes sure it captures everything. I honestly believe this should be a staple in upcoming creators' content creation. Or if you're not a content creator and you just want to film a fun weekend with your friends, you just set it up, connect to the app, and you're good to record. So if you want to get better at filming and taking photos, try this little guy on for size. Something I've noticed is that a bloke's photo taking abilities and camera roll just gets lazier and lazier as they get older. My dad is a prime example of this. You do one scroll of his camera roll and oh, would you look at that, we're already back in 2014. It consists solely of Strava screenshots, random news articles and car crashes, street signs he needs to remember, a photo of a wombat shit, a closer photo of the wombat shit just to prove it really is a cube, a work colleague wearing a funny hat because that is prime humour, roadkill, and some landscape photos taken in panorama mode of course. Whereas I feel like a woman's photo taking abilities peaks when she's in about her 20s. Us girls know the right angles, we know how to hype each other up, the best lighting, the best poses, but most importantly, we know how to execute this swiftly and subtly without drawing too much attention to ourselves like a silent assassin. You know how it is. You do the casual sweep of the surroundings, sussing out how many people we're dealing with here and how many are likely to judge. You do a Karen count, like, okay, yep, I see one over there. You do a hypocrite count, like, oh, yep, there it is. There's a girl to our right that's giving us the judgy eyes and bitching to her boyfriend as if she doesn't do the exact same thing. And lastly, the creep count. And that is, how many middle-aged men can we see wearing a polo and sunglasses looking like they have the wrong kind of intentions today? We literally go through a list and think of everything to make this as subtle and quick as we can. <laughs> so I was just thinking, at what age does this completely go out the window? My mum is a prime example of this. Like she will whip that phone out at any given opportunity with no shame and without checking the blind spots. Like she'll abruptly stretch her arms out, holding the phone in landscape, of course. Throwing her head back in an attempt to actually see the screen without her glasses on. You know, knocking over a small child that's just walked past her in the background, drawing all the attention in the world. Then begins 
painful process. And it all starts with a pinch and a zoom. You don't need to zoom, just, just move closer. Just move closer. Then it's the ring finger tap, followed with a, oh, what have I done? Then after spending 10 minutes trying to work out how to turn the flash on, she'll take a photo, but doesn't wait for the second flash. And by the time we've taken one photo, we've got everyone's attention within a 30 meter radius and we've all aged about a day. So unnecessarily frustrating. Look, I say that, but that's probably gonna be me in 30 years. <laughs> really? <laughs> if you didn't take too much offense to this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I upload videos here on YouTube every Saturday. So make sure to hit that big red subscribe button down there. And I'll see you next Saturday with a brand new video. See you later, potato.